So what happens when an AI beats your doctor at diagnosing disease? Not in the future, right now. Well, pretty much Dr. Gupta might not be very happy, but Microsoft just tested its new AI system against real world medical cases. The results? AI 80% accuracy. Human doctors just 20%. Not scary because here is the breakdown. This isn't just another research paper. This, according to Microsoft, is the first step towards something it calls medical super intelligence. Let's meet MAI DXO, which is basically Microsoft's medical AI diagnostic orchestrator. It works like a panel of virtual doctors. GPT, Gemini, Claude, Llama, Grok, each playing a very, very wonderful role in this orchestra. And then, like a real doctor, it asks for test results, adjusts hypotheses, and arrives at a final diagnosis. Microsoft tested this AI on 304 real case studies from the New England Journal of Medicine. The AI got it right 8 out of 10 times. The human doctors, unfortunately, only two. It even reduced test costs by 20% choosing smarter diagnostics. Microsoft didn't want to build just an AI that passed exams. It actually wanted to mimic how doctors think, not just what they remember. So instead of multiple choice questions, this AI walks through patient symptoms step by step asking for x-rays, blood work, adjusting the diagnosis as data comes in. This is not just an AI with answers. It's actually an AI with process, thankfully. We are actually facing a global shortage of doctors. Rural and under-resourced areas often go weeks or months without expert care. In the United States, diagnostic errors affect 1 in 10 patients. But what if the doctor lived in your phone. Well, not literally, actually in your phone. Users are already turning on ChatGPT for health advice, aka Dr. ChatGPT, and sometimes getting life-changing answers. We covered this extensively here at Front Page on AIM TV. Please make sure that you watch it and check it out and let us know what you think of that. One user fed ChatGPT his chronic back pain history and got a breakdown that helped him heal. This happened after almost 10 years and 7 failed treatments. Another resolved a 5-year jaw clicking issue in 60 seconds with a single AI recommended technique. OpenAI's O4 Mini even helped one man get to the ER in time to save an organ. Wow. AI told him to seek help. Doctors confirmed he had only one minute to spend. So, saw the difference there? OpenAI's Greg Brockman said, AI is already helping people fix their health problems. This is actually real. Doctors aren't just diagnosticians. They are navigators of uncertainty, bearers of bad news, and custodians of trust. AI, on the other hand, not quite there yet. It can hallucinate facts 10 to 35% of the time. It doesn't understand human emotions. It might tell you the truth, but unfortunately, without any sensitivity. So Dr. C. N. Manjunath, one of India's top cardiologists, says this, AI must never act alone. It can guide, but humans must decide. Stanford studies show that doctors using ChatGPT didn't improve because using AI well is a skill in itself. Microsoft's Mustafa Suleiman says, we are 5 to 10 years away from near error-free medical AI. What is the goal? A global medical reasoning engine that can help any doctor, any nurse, any patient, and that too, anywhere. The system is still not ready for clinical use, but it's being validated, peer-reviewed, and prepared for the real world. What is the next stop? Maybe a Bing Health tab. Maybe an AI assistant in your hospital. Maybe just one day, Dr. GPT. We have seen AI write code, make art, win arguments even. 
but this is very different this is actually your health your life and your doctor microsoft ai just proved it can diagnose better than humans and people are already using chat gpt as their first line of defense the future isn't just coming to hospitals it's already in your pocket the question is stethoscope na nah. maybe one day all you need is wifi this is front page by aim tv like share subscribe and always remember think ai think aim because the doctor is in